so hello everyone today we will discuss about the chronology of in ancient indian history chronology of ancient indian history so let me tell you okay i will relate every name every personality associated with that contemporaries here and <clears throat> ages like the paleolithic age neolithic age or mesolithic age these things there are no people associated so we will quickly go through this okay because the locations aspects are more important here okay so let's start so first comes the paleolithic age okay paleolithic age so this paleolithic age is divided into the three parts that is lower paleolithic age middle paleolithic age and upper paleolithic age upper paleolithic age so the time period is around 2.5 lakh before okay see you don't need to memorize the exact date at all you just have the sense only only the sense okay middle was around 40000 year ago and this upper paleolithic age was 10000 year ago simply after the completion of the paleolithic age then comes the mesolithic age mesolithic age so it is around 1000 or 10000 year to 4000 year okay these are approximations only nothing more than that then comes the neolithic age neolithic age okay it is around 4000 bc onward it started okay then the urbanization started in india after the neolithic age or during the neolithic age so urbanization started and urbanization was in the form of the indus valley civilization and urbanization was in the form of the indus valley civilization so here comes the chalcolithic age okay chalcolithic age see one thing you have to be very clear cut here that chaleolithic age had two aspects the first one was the pre period of it was the prehistoric period okay prehistoric period okay from here onward after the half of the chaleolithic age the historic period started historic period starts so during this historic period of the chaleolithic age which is overlapping okay which is overlapping so here comes the two ages here comes the two ages the first one was indus valley civilization around 2500 bc to 1500 bc and second contemporary was megalithic megalithic in the south india ivc was in the northern west northwest part of the india and megalithic were in the southern india okay this ivc is also called as a bronze age what it is called as a bronze age and this megalithic age is also called as a iron age okay so iron was not known to the indus valley civilization people at that point of time okay but later it was known <clears throat> then after these two uh, <clears throat> ages were stabilized with respect to the ivc and megalithic then the invasion of aryan happens in india invasion of aryans invasion of aryans in northwest part of india okay and once the invasion of the aryans happens in india then the age of vedic started that is vedic age vedic age starts okay it is around 1500 bc to 500 bc okay this is the main thing up to here most of the people okay they were not associated simply personalities are not there onward the vedic age the people started coming up okay so now let's discuss from the vedic age see vedic age is divided into the two parts rigvedic age and the later vedic age okay 
सो अर्ली वैदिक एज और ऋग्वैदिक एज अर्ली वैदिक और ऋग्वैदिक एज ऋग्वैदिक एज ओके सो हियर द पीपल एसोसिएटेड आर लेट मी नेम यू द नेम नेम्स लोप मुद्रा लोप मुद्रा ओके शी वाज वाइफ ऑफ द अगस्त्य मुनि अगस्त्य मुनि ओके एनदर पर्सन हु वाज इट इट वाज वक वकाम बरेनी वकाम बरेनी ओके then apala was there these are called as the brahmavadinis okay then goshala then maitri maitri then ashwini queens who were the physicians in the rigvedic age they were the physicians okay now you know that in north india the rigvedic age is going on but at the same time parallelly in the south india the megalithic age is going on megalithic age is going on this megalithic age will go on up to the 200 bc almost okay you got to know so these are the important peoples of the early vedic age and all these were the contemporaries simply lok mudra agastya muni vakrambarini apala koshala maitreya or ashwini queens then comes the later vedic age okay here not significant personalities are there later vedic age no significant personality but after the later vedic age the era of the mahajanapada starts mahajanapada starts so the uh, age of the mahajanapada is 5th to 6th bce okay so here the people who are important here in the mahajanapada age maha jana padas okay these are <coughs> see here the sharman movement started by against the brahmans sharman movement started against the brahmans jo brahmans the unke khilaf kya hai ki sharman movement start kiya gaya with the various sects like the jain buddha and ajivika ajivika okay so the people who are associated are for jain it is mahavir for buddha buddhism it is buddha and for ajivika it is the makkali gosha makkali gosha okay parallelly during this period the haranyaka dynasty was established at haranyaka dynasty was established at magadh in bihar areas okay so the people who were associated with the haranyaka dynasty were simply the founder was bimbisara bimbisara then comes the ayad shatru ajat shatru then comes the udyana okay udyana now here you have to keep in mind that at the magadh there was establishment of the haranyaka dynasty during the sharman movement okay at the same time at avanti at avanti here <coughs> at avanti there was one ruler name as the chandra pratyo daya chandra pratyo daya okay he was there and his physician was jivaka his physician was jivaka now see when bimbisara was ill at that point of time the chandra pratyodaya sent jivaka to him to assess okay so you can see that all these people all these people all these people are almost contemporaries okay all these people are contemporaries see you don't have to exactly know the date of birth because upsc while asking the chronology questions he gives the uh, difference of almost 300 to 400 years okay so you don't have to memorize the exact dates except in the one questions with respect to the tripatile struggle in 2020 
he gave very closer dates otherwise he has given a large gap in the ages okay so here during the ajat shatru period <clears throat> during the ajat shatru period okay the first buddhist council happened first buddhist council happens so the people associated with the first buddhist council are anada anada mahakasyapa and opali and opali so you can consider all these people as a contemporary in simple terms so during the mahajanpada period okay shraman movement started against the brahminical dominance and at the same point of time the haraneka dynasty was established at the magad and chandrapatyodaya was the ruler at the avanti chandrapatyodaya had the physician jivaka he sent the jivaka to the bimbisara to assist him the haraneka dynasty had the three important rulers which bimbisara ayasatru and udyana the shraman movement was started by the various sects thousands of sects were there but most importantly important out of those were jain buddha or ajivika the people associated are mahavir jain gautam buddha and makkali gosha so all these people you can consider as the contemporary what is happening in the south india at that point of time in south india megalithic age is going on megalithic age is going on okay this you have to memorize then what happens after the establishment of the mahajanpada then one janapada maha vivan mahajanpada emerged that was magad empire okay magad empire magad empire was established in northern part of india in the southern part of india sangam age started at the same point of time sangam age started in south india under the movendars under, under the movendars that is <coughs> chola chera and pandya okay so once the this one magadha empire was established okay so here comes the three important dynasties the first one i told you that is the haranyaka dynasty the people were bimbisara ajatshatru udyana the second one was haranyaka second one was the shishunaga dynasty <coughs> shishunaga dynasty okay so the people which are important of this age are shishunag who was the founder and kalasho kalasho during the period of the kalasho the second buddhist council happened second buddhist council happened and the person associated with it with it was sabakami he was the buddhist sabha from okay then after the uh, fall of the shishunaga dynasty there was rise of the nanda dynasty okay nanda dynasty nanda dynasty nanda dynasty was emerged so the people who were associated with the nanda dynasty were the first one was mahapadmananda mahapadma nanda okay he is also called as the ekrat okay and his son was dhananand dhananand so here comes one very important twist that chanakya went to the dhananand when he was in the takshila and uh, this dhananand was at the magad so the dhananand insulted chanakya that you are a brahman and you know nothing about the warcraft etc okay you know uh, the chanakya said that we are on the verge of war with the alexander okay but dhananand refused him or insulted him and then chanakya took the pledge to overthrow the nanda dynasty nanda dynasty so he found one person that was a chandragupta maurya okay so during the period of the dhananand during the period of the dhananand okay alexander invaded india alexander invaded india the people who were associated during these events were chandragupta maurya 
चाणक्य ओके पौरुष पौरुष आम्बी कुमार आम्बी कुमार एरिस्टोबोकस एरिस्टोबोलस एरिस्टोबोलस एंड नियरकस ओके एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड पनिनी वॉज देयर पनिनी वॉज देयर ओके एज ए स्कॉलर वट अबाउट द सुसूत्र सुसूत्र इज जनरली कैप्ट बिटवीन द एज ऑफ दिस हेयर द सुसूत्र इज कैप्ट we don't know the exact dates okay so he is considered during the magadha time shushutra okay exact date we don't okay so in north india nanda dynasty was overthrown by the mauryan empire okay parallelly in the south india the sangam age was going on okay why how we know that the sangam age was going and it's going on in the south india because some of the scholars like the megasthenes mentioned about the movenders okay so once the mauryan empire establishes in india here okay in north we have the mauryan empire okay around 320 bc to 185 bc okay in world who is the who is there in the world greeks were there under the alexander okay and who was there in the south india it were the movenders chola chera and pandya okay in south india okay so the people associated with the mauryan dynasty are okay chandragupta maurya okay during his period the important people are alexander he invaded india seleucus okay and the marriage issue was there then chanakya was there chanakya then we had the megasthenes okay he wrote the indica then we had the bhadravahu bhadravahu and sthalvahu as the buddhist monk sthal bahu as the buddhist monk okay and during this period the division between the hinian and mayan of the uh, this one will happen at the later stage okay then after chandragupta maurya there comes a bindusara bindusara okay the important person associated during his time was the demarcus he was a syrian king demarcus that is a syrian king okay then ashoka comes in around 269 bc 269 bc okay the people who were associated with the ashoka are they are dharmarakshita he was the person who was sent to talk about the ashoka's dhamma okay then we have the upagupta he was the person who coronated him then we have the mahabodhi temple was established by the mahabodhi temple by ashoka okay at the bank of the falgu river falgu river okay then we have the sanchi stupa establishment sanchi stupa establishment and anant padmanabha padmanabha was also there anant padmanabha was also there okay after ashoka his son prihadatta prihadatta okay he came into the picture but he was defeated by the pushyamitra shunga pushyamitra shunga so shunga dynasty was established it is a brahmanical dynasty because it was against the sense of the buddhism jainism and other sects which were patronized by the mauryans okay so during this period of the pushyamitra shunga we have the patanjali patanjali we had the manu okay we have the chedi dynasty of odisha chedi dynasty of odisha or king kharvela king kharvela he built it hatigumpa ranigumpa inscriptions hatigumpa 
Dani Gupta inscriptions. Okay. Clear? Then after the Pushyamitra of Shunga dynasty, okay, his son, after the Pushyamitra Shunga, who established the Shunga dynasty, okay, his son Agni Mitra. Okay, Agni Mitra comes into the picture. Agni Mitra. Okay, Agni Mitra. So this person was in the North India. At this point of time, what is happening in the South India? The Movendars were getting weak. Okay, Movendars were getting weak. And there was rise of the Satvahana in rise of Satvahana. Satvahana in Andhra. Satvahana in Andhra. Okay, under Simuk. Under Simuk. Under Simuk. Okay. And also, the rise of Kanwa dynasty was taking place. Kanwas were rising under Vasudev Kanwa. Okay. Now you are getting the link how the North and South Indian South Indian dynasty are connected. Okay. So after, uh, if we talk about this rise of the Satvahana, okay, rise of Satvahana under the Simuk, okay. We have the Simuk, then around 180. Okay, we have the Gautama Putra Shatkarn. Gautami Putra Shatkarni. Gautami Putra Shatkarni. Then we have the Hala, and we have the rise of the Ishwaku dynasty in South India. Ishwaku of Andhra, under, under, under. Chamta Mula, Chamta Mula, okay, he was the founder of the Ishwaku dynasty of the Andhra Pradesh, okay. So the Kanvas, they were succeeded by the Sa Sa Satvahana in the later stage and Gautami Putra Satvahana was there, then he was followed by the Hala and after the uh, fall of the Satvahana dynasty in the South India, uh, in the Andhra Pradesh, we have the establishment of the Ishwaku dynasty of the Andhra Pradesh because they were the fiduciary of these under the Chamta. Mula. Clear? Now, comes the age of the post-Mauryan post history. Okay? Post-Mauryan post post -Mauryan history. Post-Mauryan age. Okay? So, if we look, like this was our India. Okay? This was our India at that point of time. Then in the northwestern part of India, okay, in the northwestern part of India, if we look at in the northwest part of India, okay, in the northwest part of India, we have the four kingdoms, okay. The first one was Indo Greeks, Indo Greeks, around 200 BC to 100 AD, 10 AD, sorry. Then the people who were of the, who were associated with the Indo Greeks were the Demetrius, Demetrius, and we have the Menander, okay, and Naxena was his court poet. Naxena was his court poet, okay. Once the Indo Greeks fall in the northwest part of India, then there was rise of the Indo Parthians, Indo. Parthians. Okay. Indo Parthians. The people who were associated with the Indo Parthians are Gonda Firmis, Gonda Firmis, and St. Thomas. He came to India. Okay. For the spread of the Christianity in India. Okay. So these are the two important people of the Indo Parthians, Gonda Firmis and the St. Thomas. Then after the fall of the Indo Parthians, we have the rise of the Shakas. Shakas. Around 150 BC to 400 AD. Okay. The important people were the of the Shakas were Shaka calendar was established by the Vikramaditya. Vikramaditya. Okay. And Rudra Dham. Rudra Dham. Okay. And <coughs> Rudra Daman defeated, he defeated Sri Pulmai, Sri Pulmai 
of satvahana of satvahana so we can know that shakas were also contemporary of the satvahana so it is going on around the third fourth eight year okay are you clear then there was the rise of the then there was the rise of the uh, kushan kushan empire was established in india around 30 ad okay to 375 ad it went the important people of the kushana age was kajula catfish kajula catfish okay he was the founder of it then we have the kanishka okay and we know that kanishka was contemporary of the gautami putra satkarna of satvahana gautami putra satkarna okay the important people of the age of kanishka are <coughs> agnivesh Ashwa Ghosh, Ashwa Ghosh, Vasumitra, Nagarjuna, Nagarjuna. During his period, uh, under the period of the Kanishka, fourth Buddhist council happened. Fourth Buddhist council happened. Then people associated with Prati, Gunnyadaya, okay, mathematician, and Charkha was there. Charka was there, who wrote the Charak Samhita, and Bhasa was also there. Bhasa was also there. So this happened in the northwestern part of the India. What happened in the eastern and southern part of the India? Okay, now let's talk about the eastern and southern part of the India after the post Maurya. Okay, so this is the graph, for example. Okay. so in the eastern part of india and southern west southern part of india we have the rise of the shunga dynasty okay after the shunga dynasty was established by the pushyamitra shunga okay then after shunga came the kanvas okay under the vasudev kanvas then we have the rise of the satvahana under the sibuk then the gotmi putra satkarni etc then we have the rise of the ishavakus ishavakus of andhra okay the important uh, people uh, <clears throat> sorry important uh, uh, dynasties in the south india during that period was the vakatkas vakatkas and kadambas kadambas of the ishvaku period okay then we have the rise of the pallavas okay pallavas of mahabalipuram okay so this was going on then what happens The Satvahana Empire disintegrate here. The Satvahana Empire disintegrates. Okay, so when the Satvahana Empire disintegrates, then it leads to the formation of the Vakardkas, Vakardkas in Malwa and Karnataka region. Malwa and Karnataka region. Okay, it is around two fifty to five hundred is eighty. Okay, the person who was the founder of the Vakardkas was the Pravar Sena. Pravar Sena. The important other important king was the Hari Sena. Hari Sena. Okay. And this dynasty, Vakatkas, was overthrown by the Chalukya and Ishvakus. Ishvaku Chalukya and Ishvakus. Okay. And also during this period, when the disintegration of the Satvahana happens, then there was also the rise of the Uptas in North India. In North India, Uptas were rising in North India, and in the South India also at this period of time, the Movendars and Pallavas were rising. Movendars and Pallavas were rising again. Okay, and in the Southern Karnataka region, we had the Kadambas during this period. Okay, the important people of the Kadambas age are the Mayur Sharma, Mayur Sharma, and Kakusta Varma, Kakusta Varma. Okay, so this happens like this. Okay, so this is the graph we can draw. Like here, we have the Vakatkas here, Vakatkas here. After the disintegration of the Satvahana, we have the Satvahana or Ishvakus here. Shavakus here, then we have the Chalukya rise here, Chalukya rising here, 
then we have the kadambas here kadambas here kadambas here we have the movendars here movendars here and we have the pallavas here okay pallavas here clear okay so this happens after the disintegration of the satvahana okay the important rulers of the movendar age are okay movendar period are if we consider the cheras then it was senagupta one sen uttu one senagupta one if we talk about the chola then we have the king karaikal karaikal and if we talk about the pandyas then there was the kala bhaira tribe invasion happened during this period kala bhaira tribe invasion okay then the rise of the gupta happens in the north india rise of the guptas in north india rise of guptas in north india this is around 270 to 470 ad okay so the contemporary of the gupta age were vakardkas in the south india because the chandragupta 2 married the daughter okay of vakardkas okay and uh, vakardkas were there in the central india okay like this slightly south uh, central south india okay and there was rise of the chalukya of badam chalukya of badam these were these were the contemporary peoples of the gupta age okay and we had the pallavas of mahabali pura pallavas of mahabali pura who established the Door temple, all these things. Okay. So, <clears throat> Chalukya of Badami, they were there. Okay. If we talk about the Gupta dynasty, okay, Gupta dynasty, important people. Then we have the Sri Gupta, who was the founder. Sri Gupta, who was the founder. We have the Chandra Gupta one. Okay, Chandra Gupta one. Then we have the Samudra Gupta. Samudra Gupta. and we have the ramagupta it is chandragupta okay samudragupta and ramagupta okay clear now this is chandragupta and then there was the chandragupta who rise okay because his wife was kidnapped there is one story okay so he uh, like uh, saved his sister in law chandragupta ditiya from the rudra simha of sakas Rudra Simha or Sakas, Simha or Sakas. It is Chandragupta one. It is Chandragupta two. Okay. If we talk about the period of the Chandragupta two, the important people associated with his period are, okay, his period is around three seventy five to four hundred fifteen A.D. Okay, these are approximate figures. Okay, just for your knowledge only. Then the important people associated with the Chandragupta two year. अमर सिंह अमर सिंह धनवंतरी धनवंतरी देन वी हैव द हरिसेना हरिसेना वी हैड द कालिदास कालिदास वी हैड द सुद्रका ओके वी हैड द कहापन का हु वाज द एस्ट्रोलॉजर वी हैड द संकुरुषि 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 शंकु सॉरी शंकु विच हु वॉज दर्किटेक्चर आर्किटेक्ट ओके वी हैड द अदर पीपल लाइक दंडेन दंडेन वॉज देयर ओके देन वी हैव द वारा मिहिर वारा मिहिर देन वी हैव द वारा रुचि वारा रुचि और कात्यायन ओके वी हैव द वेला भट्टा हु वॉज द मेजिशियन वेला भट्टा हु वॉज द मेडिशियन we have the vikasha vishakadatta vishakadatta we had the vishnu sharma vishnu sharma we had the aryabhatta okay and we had the we know that phaiyan visited during his period phaiyan was there vasyan kam sutra was compiled during this period kama sutra okay and we had the uh, the establishment of the two 
to inheritance books okay manuruchitam manucharitam sorry manucharitam and narad smriti narada smriti and yajana valyaka yajana valyaka okay and at this period of the time the pravagati gupta marries the vakatkas king rudrasena to pravagati gupta pravagati gupta who was the daughter of the chandragupta to she marries the king rudra simha rudra sena of vakatkas so these were contemporary people okay then what happens what happens okay what happens after the chandragupta mode the king was kumar gupta okay the important king was kumar gupta okay he built the nalanda university and during his period the hun invasion started in in india in invasion started in india okay then kumar gupta after kumar gupta there comes skandagupta skandagupta he defeated the huns he defeated him twice he defeated huns twice okay then comes the age of the later guptas and ultimately the gupta empire maligns them okay what it means after the post gupta after the post gupta many small small kingdom rise in india okay if we look at the map of india okay if we look at the map of india okay here so we have the pushya bhutis pushya bhutis of thanesar is of thanesar okay we have the <coughs> maukaris maukaris of kannauj here okay we have the gods of bengal gods of bengal they rose after the disintegration of the gupta empire in the south india we have the pallavas here okay pallavas here and chalukyas here and in this region we have the maitrikas of vallav vallav maitrikas of vallav okay this happens after the post guptas these are the dynasties then if we talk about the uh, maukaris of kannauj here okay maukaris of kannauj maukaris of kannauj then important people of the maukaris of kannauj are hari var hari varman hari varman aditya varman aditya varman and ishan varman ishan varman okay if we talk about the maitrikas of vallabhi maitrikas of vallabhi then the important people are dhruva sena 2 dhruva sena 2 and dhruva sena 1 we have the shiladitya shiladitya we have the <coughs> vatraka vatraka he is the founder of the uh, maitrikas of vallabhi okay we have the dhruva sena dhruva sena and during the maitrikas of vallabhi i singh visits india i singh visits india okay if we talk about the gods or shashank of the bengal gods or shashank of bengal then the important event during this period was hun sang was hun sang hun sang visits india okay so he was contemporary this this dynasty was contemporary of the harsha okay so if we after uh, these all these things were happening here so one uh, dynasty that was the pushya bhutis of thanesar okay they rise in the form of the harshvardhan dynasty okay so who were the contemporaries of the harsha harsha around 606 to 650 ae okay so the contemporary were chalukya chalukya ye rehte hain 6 se 12 ae tak okay and we have the pallavas here okay pallavas here the people who are heir <coughs> these are the later pallavas okay so the important people are simma varman he was the founder of the pallavas simma varman okay he was the founder then important people are the mahendra varman mahendra varman okay and narsim varman narsim varman and narsim varman too okay and during the harsha period during the harsha period okay if we talk about the here harsha period 
we have banavatta banavatta we have the yunsang visiting yunsang visiting and the pulkeshan 2 of chalukya pulkeshan 2 of chalukya okay he defeats the harsha defeated harsha okay so chalukya dynasty defeated the harsha okay then after what happens the after the uh, after the chalukya dynasty and the pulkeshan 2 okay he defeated the harsha but in the later stage after the demise of the pulkeshan 2 and all these later chalukya the dynasty was overtaken by the chalukya okay sorry chalukya were taken over by the rashtrakutas okay the chalukyas were taken over by the rashtra kutas okay and the disintegration of the gods and sasang led to the formation of the palas in the western india sorry eastern india okay so then the rise of the tripartite struggle happens and from here the medieval history starts okay so this is the chronology of the ancient history with all names for more information you can subscribe to the channel and visit the telegram channel okay thank you thank you very much